So check this out. One of the things I do on this channel is try to help more people get into the IT field. And one of the points I like to make is that you need to set up yourself a home lab in order to practice a lot of these tools that you can use in order to help you understand the software, understand how to set up systems and manage systems in your own environment, because most organizations are not going to give you access to their expensive systems without you having a good understanding of what you're actually doing. And also, this is a way for you to demonstrate your skills by sharing this with hiring managers or people that you're interviewing with because most of the time when you go and do interviews for tech positions they bring in some of the people that you would actually be working with and this will allow you to demonstrate to people that actually know what you'll be doing in the position that you do understand the software equipment and different things that you'll be working on in the field and so, like I said, I try to point out that people need to set up their own lab at the house. Now, I have a server at the house, a Dell server here that I manage, you know, multiple virtual machines on. I also duplicate things that I've seen in environments at work and not specifically, you know, I'm not taking any data or anything like that. I'm just setting up the systems based on the way they're set up at work so I can have a way to troubleshoot or figure out issues that may come up at work you know by using my systems that i have at the house and so the question always comes up what type of equipment and like i said i have that dell server but i always tell people to look on amazon or ebay to try to find that equipment so you can set up your home lab and you can start practicing some of these tools and software and managing systems you know in a virtual environment and so i wanted to cover a tool that you can use to look for this hardware and it's a super dope tool i've been using it for a while i found out about it back in like 2018 uh, it's essentially just a website that points you to where you can get the equipment that you need to set up a server at your house so let's go down and hop over to it all right so this is the website i'm talking about it's called lab gopher and like i said it's been around for a while i think like 2016 or something like that uh from what i remember not 100 percent sure but lab gopher basically extracts you know a active ebay listings to help you easily find the right hardware for your needs um, and I'm just reading this statement up here at the top. It says we have developed parsing tools to help you filter eBay listings based on the criteria you care about, whether that is price, including storage or CPU passmark scores. Uh, try it out and let us know what you think. So, like I said, it parses the listings from eBay. Yeah, now, of course, you can go to eBay, but it may be a little bit more difficult to find exactly what you're looking for. Uh, but this gives you more options as far as breaking down what you're actually looking for. So super dope. Uh, now, if we go over here on the left hand side, this will bring up, you know, a couple of options on the menu. So you got best deals, uh, servers, and then you could go by size. Uh, so one U, two U. So if you got a rack or whatever, depending on what size rack you have, uh, which one can fit for you as well as the brand. So it's uh, based on whatever brands that are out there that are popular. So you got your Dell servers, HP, Lenovo, IBM, and you know, and then under Lenovo, IBM, it breaks, well, each one of them, it actually breaks down uh, the types of systems. So if you're looking for a specific system, then you can go in here and look for that as well, you know, which is super dope. But the homepage, is where i actually like to be but let's go to our about page and actually it's not working right now as far as the about page you can contact uh let's see boom that's not working either but you got lab gopher uh usa uh you got the uk one uh connect canada and these are the different links you can go to depending on what country you're in so super dope you know and then you can click on best deals right there and this will give you just uh, best deals based on the type of server is broken out by the type of server. And as you can see, you can find systems on here that are bidding like twenty four dollars, twenty six dollars. Now, of course, you know, they probably have a set price they want to hit before you can actually win the bid. I can't remember what they call it. It's like a I don't know, a, a stop price or something, whatever it's called. But it, it's like a minimum price you could set that you want the system to go for. Uh, most likely they have that set up on there or you could do the price now so this is the price plus shipping now 
but yeah you can ship to you can select your ship to region so it, depending on where you locate it like i said it's it's a whole it's a whole bunch of ways to break all this down for you you can look at your price you can modify the price like the highest price you want to see uh the amount of cpus uh pass mark uh memory storage you know all that good stuff and you can filter specific roles so if you want to look at a specific role um then you could do that as well as well as the drive spot sizes i, I forgot to show you guys that but the 2.5 you know drive base sizes or the 3.5 drive base sizes so yeah and it's broken out and then you can click on each one of them let's say this hp dl 360p g8 so let's click on it it'll take you right to the ebay page for that listing and you can make an offer you know you can buy now uh and they probably have a buy now price let's see what that buy now price is uh just to see uh so no thanks on that let's go proceed to checkout so you can buy this server at 24 dollars. so yeah hey that's the buy now now price i'm assuming um it doesn't look like it's still in bid or anything yeah um that's the buy now price so if you want this server uh let's see it's 1.8 gigahertz uh 16 gigabits no hard drives, so you have to get hard drives. That's typically what a lot of them are. Uh, and you wanna look through here. You also wanna make sure when you're buying stuff off of eBay, this seller has like good reviews. You know what I'm saying? And one of the best ways I know when buying things is, on, especially on eBay, is using PayPal. Cause you can get your money back. You know what I'm saying? Like, and I've actually done it, you know, where I've gotten my money back from PayPal. I haven't bought anything in a while, but it's just crazy, man. You can get, you know, servers in it. And it also says it needs a, let's see, a fan six warning. So you may have to switch out some fans that do some troubleshooting to fix the system. That's probably why the price is so low. So no hard drives and then no OS. So obviously you have to put your OS and that's where Linux comes in. <laughs> but yeah, you can install Linux on there for free. So you don't have to worry about purchasing an OS. Um, now, unless you really want Windows then you have to pay that price for Windows server which I don't recommend, you know what I'm saying? Uh, just go on and set up Proxmox or something on it. You know, it's 100% free. But uh, Fan6 Warning, I don't know what that Fan6 Warning is, you have to research that. But yeah, uh, that's awesome. So, and that's a great, great price. So the Gopher Grade, that's one cool thing I, I saw on here. And uh, also the time left, so seven plus days. Uh, actually, let's go up in here right fast and see how much this thing costs. So let's see the buy now. Where, where's the buy now price? Cause I haven't bought anything off of eBay. Maybe it only shows the, well it says buy it now. So I guess you could buy it at that price. Um, but let's see. So, oh yeah, and shipping right there. So this has the shipping in it. So it's $70 for shipping. Uh, let's remove this one out of my court. But yeah, this is a Dell Power Edge or 510. Um, this one looks kind of grainy. You know what I'm saying? But this is a great place to get your, or find your hardware, whatever hardware you're looking for. You know what I'm saying? You, if you're looking for something specific, then you can search through here and you can monitor uh, Lab Gopher to find what you're looking for, you know, once it pops up here. You know, you don't have to worry about searching eBay, um, you know, through their bad uh, search engine that's built into the site. You know, up here it's kind of, it's a little hard to find things. This right here makes it a whole lot easier. That's why I really wanted to show it to you guys. Now, of course, I'll have the link down in the description for Lab Gopher, and I want you guys to check it out, especially if you're looking for hardware that you want to use, you know, to set up your own home lab. That's a great place to actually go to help you uh, buy something off eBay, you know, at a great price, you know, at a very cheap price. You may spend like a hundred bucks or so, or 150 bucks or so uh, total, but you can have your own server, you know, set up, get your little rack or whatever. Racks are pretty cheap. Uh, set up your server, install like Proxmox or uh, one of those other uh, hypervisors out there uh, and just set up your own lab and you can play around with these systems. You know what I'm saying? Now, I know you can do certain things in the cloud. Let's say you want to 
learn about AWS, it's best to go to AWS. Or if you want to learn Azure, it's best to go to Azure. You know what I'm saying? But if you, if it's other things that you want to learn, for instance, like managing a bunch of nodes using Ansible or something, it's a great way to do it. If you have your own system at the house to play around with it, as well as, you know, learn. Now, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. If you have any questions, leave comments down in the comments below. And of course, keep it techie.